Okay, so I've had a number of you asking for a guide on how to get Star Citizen working on your Steam Deck, and uh, here we go. I'll be going through the basics of getting Star Citizen into Steam, and uh, with the correct version of Proton up and running with the fix, I uh, will not be covering the swap file uh, modifications. That you can follow the guide uh, link below, as well as on your screen here. And um, this should get you up and running. Uh, I'm going to use the method that I use currently with the 7. Dash 15 version with the fix that works as I have not had luck yet with the dash 26 or 27 version from uh, GE Proton. All right, here we go. So first thing you want to grab is go into your Discover and download the app called Proton Up QT. That gets us the version of Proton that we need. While that loads up, go ahead and browse to this address. I will link it into the description as well as on your screen as well. And you're going to want to get the YNG Proton 715 SC. So grab the tar exe file of that. Once your Proton UpQT is going, make sure you're installing it for Steam. If you have something else installed that might use uh, Proton, you want to make sure Steam is the one that is selected. You do add version, pick your version, and go to 7-15 and hit install. <clears throat> that will take about a minute. Before you start doing this, you also want to make sure that your Steam is not running. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's running before or after as far as the install process, but Steam will not detect the new version until it is restarted, so it's best just to have it off until after we get this uh, set up all done and ready to go. Alright, so once that is finished, it should show up in your list here. It'll show itself as being unused, which you can ignore due to the fact that it's not being used by any of the actual Steam games that are uh, in Steam. But uh, it will definitely be used by Star Citizen once we get it up and running. So this shows that it's being done. Go ahead and close that. You're going to go ahead and open up your file manager, Dolphin. And with the download that we just got of uh, the 715 SC fix, Right click on the file, go to extract, and hit extract archive here. And that should make a nice folder right next door here with these four folders. You're going to want to select all four, hit cut, go to home, go to local, share, Steam, and compatibility tools. And in here, we're going to see that new version of Proton that we installed. Go ahead and go in here and go into the files folder. And here you're going to see the four files that we just extracted. Go and hit paste, hit apply to all, and hit write into, and then apply to all, and overwrite. And that should get everything moved over <clears throat> from the fix that we just extracted. So we're done with that. Hit minimize that for now. Go ahead and fire up your Steam. Probably beforehand, we'll want to make sure that your RSI install has been downloaded for the uh, launcher. Your Steam, go ahead and go to library, add a game, add a non Steam game, browse, click at the top, hit the forward slash, go to home, deck, downloads, go down here at file type, change that to all files. Choose your RSI setup.exe and hit open. That will add an entry into your list of uh, Star Citizen, probably naming it uh, the launcher itself. I've already done that here using the uh, install that I've had going, but I've configured it in the way that you're going to be seeing when you first add yours. So go ahead and right click on it once you have it in, hit properties. You're going to want to add the launch options dash dash use dash gl equals osmesa. This fixes the launcher rendering from being all white for some reason to actually rendering correctly. From here you're going to go to compatibility, you can use force specified uh, version, and we aren't going to want to choose the 7-15 just yet. Uh, for some reason when you just choose it by itself uh, the launcher crashes on, on start for some reason. So choose the Proton Experimental for now and go ahead and close this. Go ahead and hit play. <coughs> I agree. Install. Go 
wait for the launcher to be installed. And now when it's done, uncheck the Run IRSI Launcher and hit Finish. Now, we're going to go ahead and go over here, right-click on your Star Citizen, hit Properties. You can go ahead and rename the title as well, because now we're going to switch from the installer and go back to Home, Deck, Local, Share, Steam, Maps, Comp, Data, and then you're going to look for the most recently modified folder more likely, but it's also going to be a much longer number than most of the Steam apps because it's a non-Steam game you've added. So this is the one in mine. X, drive C, program files, Robert Space Industries, RSI Launcher. And then from here, you're going to want to find the RSI Launcher. <clears throat> should set the target. Make sure everything else is correct. Compatibility, leave on Proton Experimental just for the start here. Let's go ahead and close that. Hit play. You launch and if you hear the audio you know it's going to work correctly go ahead and close uh go actually first i can't log in, uh, do any settings change yet because i haven't logged in yet but we'll come to that in a bit once the audio is working you know it works go ahead and close rsi right click on the taskbar hit quit because uh it just closes into the taskbar at the moment go back into the properties of your star citizen install compatibility and let's switch to the proton that we do want to use 7-15 close this now, either after you do that, or after you hit play, it's going to have this window come up saying, finishing the install, wine configuration needs to be updated. That is what you want to see to make sure everything is working correctly. Now the launcher will work with 7-15 just fine. You're going to log in. You're going to go into settings, and you're going to want to do the checkbox for close launcher on exit. It makes it a little easier to get out of the launcher when you're both in desktop mode and in uh, Steam uh, OS mode. But once you're all installed here, go ahead and install the game, run it normally, and everything should work fine.